Glory, glory, Man United. Glory, glory, Man United. Woo! Woo, can you see how red I am? Oh, just held on. A 2-1 victory. About to say 3-1. What games are I watching? A 2-1 victory for Manchester United. And finally, another three points. Yes! I'm so relieved. Uh, you won't you only believe it. I've been sitting there, hands praying, praying that the game would just end because that, that, that was squeaky bum time to the next level. They looked like they were going to score any moment towards the end. Whew. Let me just, let me just catch, catch myself for a moment. Wow. Okay, first half. Started off well. Got into a nice early two-goal lead. Goals from Wayne Rooney and Robin Van Persie. And we were looking good, you know, passing the ball well. Good movement off the ball, you know. There was nice play. It looked like we could run out and hopefully score four or five goals in that game. But it wasn't meant to be. And West Ham equalised from a corner kick. Poorly defended, if you ask me. De Gea has come out. He's tried to get it. Completely missed it. Completely missed it. Um, and he's made a hash of it. It's come off the crossbar. And uh, Sacco's got a free header and he's just put it in. And um, that was 2-1 going into the break. And then come out of the second half thinking, all right, now maybe we can kick on. Louis Van Gaal's had his time to talk to the team. Maybe we can go and kick on and score another one or two goals, you know, and put the game to bed. It weren't meant to be. Rooney made a very rash decision and got sent off. Kicked a player. Personally, I didn't think it was, it was a red card. But, you know, that's probably me being a little bit biased because... He did kick out at the player and uh, probably was deservedly sent off. Um, other than that, um, West Ham just piled on the pressure towards the end, continued to pile on the pressure. And uh, I think it was great team spirit shown by the lads to uh, f see out the win and uh, the three points. And what a feeling. What a feeling I have now. The pure adrenaline running through me is just, oh, it's mental. Um... Yes, it was, it, it, it was a good game, but I think United on the defensive front uh, are still very shaky. Paddy McNair, hats off to him today. You know, come in, drafted in, young centre-back, um, made some absolutely stunning, world-class uh, clearances, uh, especially the one where he had to adjust his body and head it away, where if it went past him, there was definitely a West Ham player waiting at the back post to just tap it in. Um, so he's had an absolute quality quality game and um i think he he, he 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 is a really big talent for the future and could from here break on into louis van Gaal's first team um for for the next couple of games until we get full fitness center backs back like phil jones and chris Mullin. but anyway guys what a feeling and um i would say what a win but it was shaky towards the end and i think united were still not at their best Still waiting for Falcao to get his name on the score sheet. Can't be too long away now. Um, anyway, guys, that's it for now. Please like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. I'll leave a link here, Joshua, at the Joshua Spence. And uh, I will follow you back if, if your tweets interest me. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. It's been, your, it's been Joshua Spence, MUFC, reviewing Manchester United versus West Ham, which finished 2-1. And that's three points to United. Come on, United!